This is a short demonstration of ZW3D Lite and its ability to open and save virtually any major CAD format. First, let's look at a CATIA V4 model file. We could also open an EXP file directly. It should be noted that if the file contains multiple parts, they will all be imported together. In this example, after about 10 seconds, we have our stitched solid. This part is now ready for editing, add or remove features, or generate some toolpath. At this point, I'm just going to save it straight out as a Parasolid XT. The next file I want to look at is a CATIA V5 part file. This file is mostly complex surfaces, so it will take a few seconds longer to open. Now that the file is open, I'm ready to start editing. I can select a chain of edges and add a fillet, for example. Once I've finished my edits, I can resave the file as a CATIA V5 part, or in this case, I'm going to back save it as a CATIA V4 model file. Next, I'm going to look at a SolidWorks file. Once it's open, it's ready for editing. But in this case, I'm just going to do a straight translation to an ASUS-based SAT file. So far, I've only opened single part files. Now let's look at an assembly. This is a ProE model file with multiple parts and multiple subassemblies. As you can see in the manager, there's a great number of parts being translated very quickly. ZW3D has not only opened the file quickly and cleanly, but has maintained the assembly structure. All parts and subassemblies have maintained their position within the assembly hierarchy. Without any further adjustment, I'm going to save this ProE assembly as a CATIA V5 assembly. Once the save is complete, all files have been converted to either CAT part or CAT product files with the assembly structure intact. These are just a few of the file types that can be opened, edited, and saved directly in ZW3D. We can also open Unigraphics part files, Autodesk DWG, DXF, and Inventor, plus independent formats including IGES, STEP, and STL. Thank you for watching.